Hey everybody, I'm Catherine with Colorado Yard Care and today I would like to talk about what you should do with Russian sage that has gotten floppy. So Russian sage is a plant that's really well adapted to very sunny, dry areas and that's one reason why it grows so well here in Colorado. So in my experience, if it's getting floppy, it's either because it's getting too much water or it's getting too much shade. So let's take a look at how you can tell the difference. This is actually the ideal growing location for our Russian sage. It's extremely sunny, there's absolutely no shade, and as you can see, there's also no irrigation. And you can see how beautiful these plants are. So you can see why Russian sage would suffer if it gets too much shade or too much water. So this is a Russian sage plant that is almost stopped blooming. This is late fall. And what's happening is you can, you can see that the branches have gotten quite long over the summer, about four feet tall, and the whole entire plant is flopping from the center. So it's kind of flopping symmetrically around the center of the plant. So this Russian sage plant's just simply gotten too much water. Now it's not because it's getting too much water from the sprinkler system, because in this case, there is no sprinkler system that covers this area. Instead, what happened is that we've just had a really rainy summer and it's just been simply too much rain for Russian sage to grow really well. This group of Russian sage is flopping because it's getting too much shade. What's happening is that the eave of the house is, is creating shade for this group and it's making it get too leggy and it's flopping over. The way you can tell the difference is because um, rather than it flopping symmetrically around the center of the plant, it's all flopping one direction and it's going towards the light. So this example is one where it's got too much shade. This is an example of Russian sage that's flopping because it's getting too much water. And guess where it's coming from? It's coming from the overspray from the lawn sprinklers. So right here we've got a section of lawn and the sprinklers are doing a great job of keeping this grass green, which is just providing too much water for this group of Russian sage. So you can see that it's just getting too floppy and it's creating a problem because when we try to mow the grass right here, um, the Russian sage is getting in the way. So what should you do about this? Well, ideally, Russian sage really doesn't need as much water as a lawn needs. So in, in an ideal situation, it'd be better to just move this Russian sage plant to a sunnier, drier area of the yard. You can stake it, but really, if it gets a lot of water from the lawn sprinklers, it's gonna get tall and leggy and flop anyway. So in my opinion, it's just better to move it. If you've got a Russian sage plant that's flopped just because the weather has been really rainy, um, then the, the best thing to do is to cut it back to ground level. Now you can do this in the fall or you can do it in late winter, but you definitely want to do it before it leaves out the following spring. Now the reason why I suggest cutting it all the way back to ground level is because these branches that are floppy are never going to become upright again. They're always going to be horizontal and they're just not going to provide the upright structure to make your plant really attractive. So um, if you can't tolerate the visual appearance in the fall and you just want to clean it up and not have to look at it all winter, then cutting it to the ground in the fall is a good idea. I would go ahead and wait until it um, becomes dormant and you can tell that it's dormant when there's no fresh leaves on the plant anymore or very few and the stems have turned kind of a gray brown. If you'd like to cut it back in late winter, I have a good video um, that you can look at to see how I do that. It's called How to Prune Russian Sage in Spring. Now, if you have a plant like this that's partially floppy, we've got some upright stems and some uh, stems that are kind of growing horizontal at this point, one option is to take the stems around the base of the plant that are growing horizontally now and cut those back so maybe these and these here. And you wanna get them down in the crown right there. So you cut them back in this area. Um, and then you can leave the stems that are still upright and see how that looks. If it doesn't look great, you can always just continue to cut the entire plant back down to the ground. To review, Russian sage grows best in sunny, dry areas of the landscape. So if it's getting floppy, it's either because it's getting too much water or it's getting too much shade. 
Now, if it's getting too much shade or too much water from a sprinkler system that you can't modify, the best approach is to transplant it to a drier area of your yard that's more sunny. If it's just getting floppy because there's too much rain this particular summer, then the best approach is to cut it back to ground level either in late fall after it goes dormant or in early winter before it greens up again. Thanks for watching. For more Colorado specific yard care tips, please visit coloradoyardcare.com.